Music is such a powerful force, I think, in our lives. Like, no matter who we are, whether we're an accomplished musician or we're someone who feels like they're tone deaf, when we hear a beat or when we hear a strain of violin or a symphony, we're just immediately moved. I've always been into music since a really young age. But then when I became a little bit older and I was in high school, I didn't feel nurtured enough, so I just kind of let it go. What I didn't like was that everything was really traditional, and I didn't fit into that. I think the teacher is really important, and that's, that's something I, I want to focus on, is how to find a program or a way of helping people that really caters to the individual. How many 12 bars do you think you're? Five. Alright, do everybody see those Roman numerals at the top? Yeah. Let's see if we can follow that. What's the, what's the B first? Let's get the B. I had met Breton Boyd, who is a teacher at Marshall High School, and he had a music class, and then I told him I was in war paint, and then he said, oh, well, my students love you. You should come. We are covering one of your songs. And I expected the parents to show up. I certainly didn't expect Teresa Wayman of War Paint to show. He was teaching everything from stage production to lighting, front of house, to also being a songwriter, being in a band, forming bands, you know, recording, everything. So it was just an invaluable class, really. And I found out the class had been canceled due to budget cuts, and it was just such a bummer because I, I witnessed firsthand how great the class was. I remember the first day of school, my freshman year, just uh, walking down the halls and not knowing where I was, like, felt out of place, trying to figure out, like, what my routine, what my schedule would be. When I first got into a class with Boyd, it was my English class. We were reading uh, Of Mice and Men, and he came up with the idea of kind of like a musical Of Mice and Men thing with a class, and I became part of that and I fell in love with that. We had this kind of traditional mindset in my class initially and Caesar was quieter, non-responsive like many students, but the second we brought in music and went for this new approach to like find the expression of the period and find our own place of expression within the novel, everyone really lit up, especially Caesar. I didn't realize I really liked to do that until I started participating in that class and it just it became like my number one thing. I'm in a band called The Glow. I play bass and we rehearse here in my garage after school. Now that I'm a senior at Marshall and I'm walking through the halls, it's a lot different. I feel a lot more confident. I feel like some people know me and then I'm the bassist for the band The Glow. Or I'm just a, a bassist or a, a musician. That title, musician, feels great. It, it makes me feel like I belong somewhere. Like I belong to other musicians or to, to that kind of group. There was a law passed called SB 1131 and under Schwarzenegger they were supposed to return money specifically to arts programs at a time when they had borrowed against it for whatever crisis was going on in California. Well right on top of that law being passed the Great Recession hits. That money did not arrive and we went into a, a great cutback of electives teachers, of classes available. I was still able to teach English, but I was no longer able to teach guitar. And I loved teaching guitar, so I thought the only thing I could do was appeal to the public. So then he mentioned that he was trying to raise money to bring it back. And I just thought, well, that'd be really cool if one day maybe War Paint could do a show and do something for other people who might need a little lift or a little push to, to get to their dreams. We're calling this War Paint Presents 
I realized through doing this that everyone wants to get involved in, in helping out their community. It's been really, really amazing and it feels really good. It's ironic to the worst degree that we live in a region of the country that's so rich in resources and talent and we have hardly any of that integrating with our gigantic school system that could reach so many students. Music is so fundamental to being a human being. It's telling that Plato said that music should be controlled by the state because it is just so utterly powerful. It speaks to all aspects of ourselves. It's physical, it's emotional, it's intellectual, it's aesthetic. And that totality is completely taken for granted. If you put a guitar in someone's hands, you've engaged all those aspects of their humanity. And they begin to see themselves in a new light. They see themselves in a community of learners. They see themselves by themselves in their own personal success as performers. So putting instruments in the hands of kids is as important as test tubes or computers ever could be. I'm so grateful to Warpain and everyone that made this class happen for next year. It's going to be a great class. Unfortunately, with the budget cuts that are coming from the state and county level, we're going to require continued support to bring this to future students. 